In 2008, Shakir Stewart would replace Jay-Z as the executive vice president of Def Jam Records. Before he accepted the position, he had the contract for two weeks before he signed it. Upon signing, he reportedly told people close to him that he felt like he made a deal with the devil. Previous to this position, Shakir was responsible for signing Sierra while he was with LaFace Records and Rick Ross and Young Jeezy while he was with Def Jam before becoming executive vice president. Before his death, it's noted that this new position brought him a lot of stress with the downturn in music sales not helping at all. Reportedly, L.A. Reid, the chairman of Island Dev Jam at the time, had a three-hour meeting with Shakir and would inform him that he no longer had his position. Before his death, Shakir is said to have been taking Ambien and was very paranoid about the feeling of people out to get him. Shakir would ultimately be found dead in his home after pulling the gun on himself. Was it because of the depression from his job or was it the result of a messy love triangle? We may never truly know.